Shelly Alfonso, president of the Positive Foundation. This year, we have agreed to work on a call to action uh, for the simple reason that we think entirely too many people are getting all pink and not necessarily going to get checked. We have arranged with the uh, medical community uh, 28 opportunities to get screened. With those opportunities, we still have a number of chances still for women to be included and to take the action that we have um, been promoting this year. And that action is that we want you to be breast aware. We want you to feel it, find it, and fight it. The opportunities for screenings are available. For example, on the 19th of October, we have Dr. Denaway and Dr. Bell. On, so on the 20th of October, we have Dr. Friday and the Pure Health Clinic. On the 21st, we have uh, Dr. Friday again and the Simpson Bay Medical Clinic. On the 22nd, we have Dr. Bell again. These schedules are readily available on our Facebook site, Positive Foundation, as well as in the Daily Herald. If you look for the Winnier ad as well, you will see the schedules there. And they're being announced via the radio stations. You can also pick up the schedules on the Electrolytes, um, Electra Voltage Facebook site, as well as Mercedes Wyatt. You can check Shelly Alfonso's Facebook site and the Positive Foundation site for more schedules as well. So just to wrap up for information purposes, you can go to our Facebook site to get all the information that I'm telling you now and more, of course. This year, our events have been spectacular thus far. Participation to the various events have been really overwhelming and very, very encouraging. We are promoting an event, and by we, I mean the Electrolytes Foundation and the Positive Foundation, promoting these, these events to be a bring your buddy, bring your friend kind of long. And that's the same thing that we're encouraging for the free clinical screenings as well. A number of the doctors on the island have really gotten involved and they've actually decorated their various clinics as well to showcase and to remember for people to be mindful, to, to be breast aware. So all of this is great encouragement for our community. Upcoming, we have a couple of events. Um, we do have uh, the Koiman Painted Pink, which is scheduled for October 22nd. Bikers for Boob on October 23rd. The movie night on October 26th. And of course, we have the Pandora Party for Pink on the 28th. And the St. Martin Medical Center Open House on the 29th of October. This would be your last opportunity in October to get a free clinical breast examination, as we have five doctors who will be providing free clinical breast examination at the St. Martin Medical Center from uh, 4.30 p.m. until 5 p.m. On that same day, Dr. Spencer, in the morning hours, if you're not able to make it in the afternoon, is also going to do a free clinical breast examination from 9 a.m. until 12 noon. So we have lots of opportunities where you can go and get checked. Getting checked and getting checked early um, and the, in the, the fight against breast cancer and the detection, that early detection does save lives. And this is why that is so important. I don't know if you had a chance to drive by the airport, but we, the airport has basically put up V banners of uh, four beautiful women who are all breast cancer survivors and they are beautiful and bold and courageous for being able to be showcased in this way. But basically the message that is being sent is that if it cancer is detected early, your survival rate increases tremendously. So the, the key is basically early detection. And I know you're doing it for this amount of years. Do you get in a really good feedback that women are coming out and doing their tests? We're getting feedback from the various clinics that they are coming out to do their, their breast self-examinations. Um, and we are, we are going to do a roundup and an account um, towards the end of the month when we know, um, when we're finalizing everything to know. But recognize that every opportunity is being offered. For example, at the um, Pandora um, Party for Pink, 
a doctor will be on site to do breast self-examination as well. The, we've recently um, worked with the, um, the mobile bus for SNV, and when they go into the various communities, they are also offering free clinical breast examinations as well on the mobile bus. So every opportunity is being there to ensure. So there is no excuse that you will not or you should not be able to get a clinical breast examination. From the funds raised, um, basically we are educating our women how to do breast self-examinations, um, encouraging them to go out and get the clinical breast examinations. And we're also paying for 100 free mammograms for women who have um, no insurance but may need a mammogram. So if the, uh, the doctor is authorized to issue the voucher immediately so that they can go and get the free mammogram if they're uninsured and they need a mammogram. You yourself has been president so many years for the foundation itself. Are you pleased at the outcome that since you started has improved? I am pleased to some extent in terms of what it is that we've been able to achieve. I am very happy for the support that we've received from the uh, medical community as well as from the business community regarding this cause and regarding our, our, our belief in this cause. I am exceptionally pleased for those instances. I am, however, um, recognize that there's still people within the community that we're not reaching and I would definitely um, uh, need to make a bigger effort to be able to reach those people as well. And how you intend to do that? Are you going to do that by uh, send out press releases? Or are you going to do like a home hometown? Or are you going to visit people at their home? For right now, the mobile bus okay. offers the hometown advantage, and we think we would like to explore that, providing we do we can um, continue with the cooperation with SLV on that. I think it's an excellent tool for us. We also need to explore literature in other languages. At the moment, we have English and Spanish literature, but we've also been given a, a request for perhaps some literature in Patois or French. So those are some options that we need to explore as well. So there's still lots to be done and still lots of people to be reached. Um, we, we're doing TV, we're doing radio, we're doing television, we're doing Facebook. Um, we need to explore other avenues of reaching people as well. Um, so in the coming months, yes, we will be exploring those options. Life is a journey, full of connections. You're in safe hands, even when life starts too soon. You don't have to miss a single beat. When a bad hair day makes you sad, just sharing can bring you joy and more to come. They take the plunge, turn fear into faith, while you capture those beautiful moments. In the game of life, it's family that counts. They'll be there even when you lose. We all have our moments of reflection and hope. And when you feel you're losing everything in life, we're there because there's more to come. When life starts too soon, you don't have to miss a single beat. We're here to connect you and share life. Tell us when you want more. GEBE has been faithfully serving the communities of St. Martin, powering your home and our economy. Come rain or shine, our qualified team of professionals are working hard 24 hours a day to provide you and your family with safe, reliable electricity and water. We use the latest technologies and test our products daily to maintain the highest international standards. Our friendly staff is always there to assist you, whether in person, over the phone, or online. We are committed to constantly improving our products and services, making them more efficient, effective, and environmentally friendly to serve you better today and our next generation of clients tomorrow. GEBE, -E, powering a brighter future. Our friend Megawati is here with tips to save you energy. One, turn your air code temperature up. Two, use a ceiling fan instead. Three, buy energy saving products. Save some green with NVGEBE. Need a loan that's quick and easy
The newest and latest products are already in St. Martin, available at the Fresh Market for only a few days. Come and check out the spectacular steam iron, the amazing Thompson sharpener to recover the edges of your old blade. Convert any regular blender to a professional extractor with the filter. Save toothpaste and keep your toothbrushes in order with the toothpaste dispenser. Mopping your house just became easier with the magic mop. And ladies, get ready to sweat with the slimming shapers vest. All this and more available for only a few days from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. Monday to Sunday at the Fresh Market in Madame Estate. Hello beautiful people, I'm here with Alex. He's going to explain us something very special, the toothpaste dispenser. Here it is, toothpaste dispenser. I can't imagine that this product like this exists in this world and this time. And now it's in your country, in the address, in the address that appears at the bottom of the screen. And Alex is, is going to explain us in the best way how to use it. Hello Alex, how are you doing? Hi Andres, this is the new Toothpaste dispenser saves up to 50% toothpaste. Is the necessary to house bacteria from the flow? Okay, toilet. let's do this in a regular way with the tube. Okay, the miss. Okay, look at the difference. Wow, man, this is amazing. Okay, and now put one line. Saves up to 50% toothpaste. Okay, you're going to say up to 50% of toothpaste. Protect your toothbrushes from bacteria, insects, and dogs. Bacteria from the flush the toilet, other bacteria. Okay, when you flush the toilet, okay. all the bacteria falls the toothbrush. on the toothbrush. Okay. okay. It's all simple. Stick on the wall, any surface, on the mirror, on the glass, on the tile. It's all no problem. Is it necessary? E okay. Okay, you can you you can stick it on uh, any kind of surface, but if the surface is like hard or something like this, it's already included two screws that you're going to install to put these screws on these two holes uh, to keep the the dispenser safer. If this is the this is the toothbrush. And this is the four bros, and this is the five bros. Okay, it depends on the family, the number of the members of the family. If you are maybe, a, uh, you, you, just, you just get married, so you, you, you are going to use this. If you have a family of four members, you, you have this option. And if you have a lot of members in your family, you can use it this way, or this way, up, and up to 10 people, okay? Dispenser, the liquid soap, the liquid soap kitchen, the liquid soap, the hand sanitizer is necessary. You have for hand sanitizer, for shampoo, uh, conditioner, for e anything you want. The only thing that you have to do is to take this lid uh, out, um, put the, the the liquid that you want to dispense to dispense, and press this way and you will obtain only one size. If you want more, you have to press again, okay? This wonderful product, you can find it here. And, uh, with this, uh, with, the, with the expert, they, they're going to explain you all the uh, benefits that these products uh, have. This, this box comes with the instructions in English, Portuguese, and Spanish. And inside, you will find the, uh, the product with the dispenser with the cup, with the plastic cup, to uh, please don't let the water run when you are washing your mouth. And with the, with the best, with the best prices here at the bottom of the screen for a few days. So you can miss it, you have to come right now. Could you tell us exactly what took place here? Because um, the fire department and the police are here looking around and I know you have a restaurant right here. Is there anything to do with your restaurant really? Um, it is like this. They have some liquid in that 20 foot container, that green container, that belongs to us. And uh, what happened is, um, what you say, we have food, we sell your food here, and the food has to be safe. So the smelling is not so healthy for the business here. So we decide, we talk with the owner. We talk with the owner from the place. But the owner say, no, 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 I don't have nothing to do with that. But what happened is, we are working here. We're supposed to be safe. So that's the reason we are going to people, ask them. First reaction to policemen two or three months ago. 
And after that, nothing happened. The same thing like that, but green, that red container is dangerous there for traffic, but nothing didn't happen. So yesterday, I went another step and going with the fire department to see what could be done. Something have to be done. And what kind of what kind of chemical is it? We didn't know. You don't know. We didn't know. But it, the, is it was a leak or is it a smell? No, the thing was leaking because you could see on a steel on a container that the leak could come out. And who does and the smell? Who does the container belong to? You don't know. Somebody who have the business before us. Okay. Oh, so you talk about an old container that is there? Yeah, yeah, yeah the, the green container. The right. green container, that green 20 foot container there. Mm -hmm. um, uh, the police asked me the name for the owner, but uh, we was not here, we didn't yeah. know. People who used to come around here tell us it is a Puerto Rican guy, so and so and so and so. That is. Today, Tuesday, the, the 18th of October, at about 11.30 in the morning, we received a call regarding a foul chemical smell at the entrance of the container harbor. Fire department dispatched immediately and according to procedure, cordon off the, the direct vicinity of um, the container. We did our assessment. There are no, no danger for explosion. For explosion. There is um, no direct toxic gases at present at the moment and also because of that we will be giving the area free soon time what we're doing now we have seen that there was a leak it is a container that has been here for over a decade so everything is rusted through we cannot really recognize what is in it but it has been leaking but now it has become solid again so we are we are um, coordinate off to make sure that it cannot leak, go nowhere no more and, and also that people cannot go too close to it and, and stay out of harm. The leak that, um, that is happening, uh, is it coming from the heat of, of, the, of the island or is it just simply just started to leak like that? Um, what caused the leak, we can't tell for sure but most probably what we could see is that the drums has been rusted through. So age, aging of the drums, and next to that also, what we could see is that the chemicals at a certain temperature, they start um, melting, and right now they, they have become solid again. So most probably also the heat inside the container has caused the leakage. How heavy is the smell was that I noticed that the workers from the Caribbean liquor had to evacuate the place. Well, at the moment of the call we did not know what what was causing the scent and how long this was already taking place. So at the moment that that we we reach on the area we did not want to take any chances and according to procedure we evacuated the, the direct vicinity which is also until in liquor. Oh my, oh my, what an inventory list, and so unnecessary. But wait, your home contents are all insured by Be Sure. That means that you determine the amount you want to insure. No inventory list, no asshole. Are you Be Sure? Be Sure. <laughs> Bob, I can understand why you're parking so carefully. Of course, when you can get 80% discount on your Be Sure car insurance.
<laughs> but that's overdoing it, Bob. Are you be sure? Be sure. Yeah. It's been said that behind every door, possibility awaits. How much possibility depends on which door you open first. Every day, we help our customers discover the possibilities in their lives. It all starts with a conversation. Scotiabank. Discover what's possible. On Friday evening, Raw Promotions Foundation met with the Calypsonians who are registered to participate in the 2017 Magico Calypso competition. The purpose of the meeting was to inform the Calypsonians mainly of the deadline to um, submit their music, which is December 1st. We also informed the Calypsonians of some minor changes that um, Raw Promotions will be making to the Calypso competition. Um, we spoke also about the Calypso tents that are um, scheduled to take place, um, the first one on February 21st at the um, Carnival Village in Gallus Bay, and the second one will take place in March on a date and venue to be determined. I was happy to also have present um, members of the SCDF, the President, Mr. Alston Lawrence, and of course the coordinator for the Calypso Show, Mr. Eduardo Rajuki, um, and we are happy to have them on board and it shows that um, the cooperation and the communication between Raw Promotions and the Carnival um, Development Foundation. And tonight, although we did not have all Calypsonians present, you could see the enthusiasm and the, um, the readiness in the Calypsonians. They are ready for this show, and I believe, I am, I guarantee that the Calypsonians are going to put on some great shows. Um, the Elimination, the Calypso Tents, and the Calypso Finals are going to be great shows. I would now like to hear from the President, the new and incoming President of the SCDF, and I want to congratulate him on taking up that post. And I know you have a task ahead of you, but with us taking on the organizing of the um, Calypso competition. I know you have a burden off of your hands, but it doesn't mean that your job is any easier. So I turn over the microphone to Mr. Alston Lawrence, the president of the SCDF. Well, uh, thank you so much for um, having us here. I know uh, Rajuki, my uh, colleague, is here as a liaison. So he will always be here, but I decided let me start to come because first of all, as I'm also a fan of Calypso, and uh, the SCDF just wants to show that you know we are here with you. This is the first time um, our organization such as this in, in modern times is taking over the Calypso show. So we want to just you know show that you know our support is there all the time, and it looks good. I would never miss these meetings because they're full of comedy. That's, <laughs> number, that's number one. But um, also to in any way that SCDF could always keep an eye on, on what's going on because at the end of the day we have a very important part of the carnival that, that needs to come off. It has to go very well, and we're there for that show. So we're just there for you. I'm sure by uh, uh, the liaison from SCDF, uh, Mr. Rajuki has some other good words to say. You can see his shoulders <laughs> feel a little lighter now <laughs> uh, that, that you are taking it out right now. Okay, so then I'll turn the mic over to Mr. Rajuki. Okay, what I'm just going to add to um, the president is that, yes, we are um, we are very um, enthusiastic of the whole, you know, the whole project of how the rock production have taken over the Calypso because it really gave a burden for us because at a um, certain part of the, you know, the Calypso, you know how it is with the Calypso, but for Calypso to, 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 to rise in St. Martin, um, the rock production have um, shown us that they are willing to put that um, insert into, con um, into the, the Calypso arena and I believe that the Calypso is going to raise to a higher level mm -hmm. and then knowing that um, we're going to have the judging um, courses which are going to be held here in St. Martin and um, I know Ra and SCDF will put that together so that we could get that on a higher level for Carnival 2017 with the Calypso. Okay and just to let the public know that we have a number of newcomers 
joining the ranks, the Calypso Arena. Um, we also have some faces who we haven't seen for a long time yeah. coming back. We have um, people like King Timo, who has been absent for a long time. He's coming back. We have um, the mighty Calyx has signed up. We have um, the mighty Dando, who was also present to the meeting. He is back. Um, the mighty Magic is also signed up. And um, um, King Repeater is also signed up. So we have a number of, of people. Fox, um, Ricky the Fox is also signed up. So we see the interest coming back um, in Calypso. I have to admit, though, that um, after we had um, moved the deadline from September 1st to September 9th, um, those that are signed up have met the deadline, but there was a, still a lot of interest from other Calypsonians who wanted to join the ranks and, and sign up. Unfortunately, we had already uh, passed the deadline and could not um, accommodate those who um, came after the deadline. But we want to assure them that um, next year, 2000, for 2018, um, we will start registration even earlier, the, re the registration drive. We will start that just after Carnival 2017 so that when we put a deadline, we know exactly how many um, are interested and how many are there. So this um, Calypso elimination looks like it's going to be a very, very interesting one. And the Calypsonians are eager to get on the stage. Even here in the meeting, you could hear the camaraderie between them and also the competition between them. So it's now up to the, the, the public, up to the audience to come out and support Calypso. And while supporting that, you will also be getting a great show. It is guaranteed. So we invite everybody to come out to the Calypso tents, come out to the Calypso eliminations, and don't miss the Calypso finals. And a special word, a special invitation also goes out to the politicians. And last but not least, we want to thank the main sponsor, Nagico Insurances, who are on board with us and who also want to see Calypso improve. Now, I've heard that it's been over 10 years that um, Nagico has been sponsoring the Calypso competition. This year, we have met with them um, already, and they too are eager to see the Calypso show improve. And there are um, some, you know, we do, we're tightening up some bolts together with Nagico. And Nagico also proud to be the main sponsor of the Calypso competition. They're on board, and we want to thank them also for being. Um, on board and for um, giving us their support. So big ups to Nagiko.